We now bring in sports director Chris Tavares. Chris, this team focusing the game at hand. That's right, Kirsten. Not much left for San Francisco to do in preparation for this one. They're done with practice. They're making the cross-country trek over here to Philadelphia, but you figure they're not going to have too much too restful of sleep the next couple of nights just because of what's on the line for them. Of course, that's a berth in the Super Bowl in two weeks. But first, they have to come into Philadelphia and shut down the Eagles in front of a loud, rowdy, and raucous Lincoln Financial Field on Sunday. Now, Kyle Shanahan, he's been on this stage before, leading San Francisco to its third NFC title game in four seasons. But one of the biggest messages for him to his team, even though the Super Bowl is the end-all, be-all for anyone in football, don't look past this game. We can't too much look ahead. Um, as we do the uh, whatever it takes meeting on Wednesdays, um, the things that Cal talk about, like what it takes to win the game, it just gets you up and ready for just being in the moment, just getting ready for the team that's, that's ahead of not just thinking of the Super Bowl, even though everybody knows that's the end and goal. That's where you, dream, you dreamt about since you were a kid. Do you dream about it when you're in high school, college? You dream about it when you're in the NFL? You, know, you dream about situations like this, and uh, whether it's a hunger, a starvation, a desperation. Uh, you do everything you can to make sure at the end of the game that you're going to win. You're going to win it. The players are playing the game. We're coaching the game, and you go off exactly what you think based off your preparation and what you've worked at to try to learn, and you don't ever look back. Injury update for the 49ers. Christian McCaffrey, he's a full go. He was a full participant in practice today. So too was receiver Debo Samuel, but running back Elijah Mitchell, he's questionable for Sunday. He didn't practice at all this week. Live in Philadelphia, Chris Tavares, Fox 40 Sports.